Today we're taking a look at how to sample from vinyl in Machine MK3. Of course you're going to need a turntable to play your vinyl, but then you're going to need something to plug that turntable into before it hits machine to amplify the signal. DJs use something like this. You don't need to be a DJ to have one of these. This amplifies the signal and has some EQ. I think it might color the sound more than anything, but it, it works well. And this one I bought a long time ago. I think it was like cheap. But these days I'm using like an old fashioned stereo thingy with a phono input. Let me see. Ugh. The cable, whoops, the cable will look like that. It's coming out of the turntable. You want to plug that into like the back of the receiver or whatever, or this thing. And you want to use the phono, not the line. And phono, and now I just figured that the phono is actually short for phonograph, which is what these used to be called. We call them vinyl. So this comes out of the turntable and into the amp or the DJ thing. And there's also like a box you can buy. It'll fit in the palm of your hand and they're, they're really cheap. A couple of companies like Art and Behringer make them. They just have like, you know, the input and the output basically. But when you're going out from your DJ mixer or your stereo amp or whatever device is amplifying your turntable, you want it to come out ugh, with these connectors because these connectors will connect to your machine or your external audio interface. And you know, if you're using machine, you would just plug them right in that line in there. Sorry about the focus. Yeah, line in right there. Doot, doot. Plug those in there. Uh, in my case, I got my own coming out into my audio interface on input three and four. And that's really all the connections. You just uh, use the volume knobs or whatever to uh, amplify the signal. And then it comes into the machine. But uh, press play. Holy, just epic. On machine, you would hit sample and you would choose external source, not internal, external stereo. And then you would pick your, pick your inputs, either uh, one and two, three and four, four and five, however you have your system set up. I have, that just correlates with that. You would go here and choose your mode. I, you, could, you could do loop, which works for a lot of things, but in terms of sampling vinyl, I would hit, I would pick detect mode. And with that, you just change the threshold. You see that bar moves? So basically, when the signal reaches past that bar, it'll start recording. You just hit this that button. Boom. We have a sample. And there you see it. There it is. Press the pad. It's a crazy sample. That's how it's done. But from here, now that your sample's there, you hit edit. There it is. And that this is where you would want to do things like pick the start and end points, truncate it. Uh, time stretch it. And once you truncate it, get it the right size and time stretch to your liking, you'd hit the slice. And this is where you would slice either by the grid. You could change that up or you could split it into equal parts or you could do the detection method and just change the sensitivity lower them so they're bigger pieces apply or whatever hang on let's get some more pieces hit apply and now it would be and then you hit ok and now you, you want to turn, turn your polyphony Okay, so when I hit play, it just started to try to play itself. That just when you slice up a sample, it automatically puts itself in the sequencer. So you would just hit shit shift 
shift, not shit. Hit shift and clear, and then I got my drum loop, and then I can maybe what, turn down the samples. And play around with it. 